Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up a Heroku app to run your Alpaca algorithm. Once you set up a Heroku account, you will click the new button to create a new app. You will give your app a name uh, and click the create app button. I will be connecting my GitHub account to my Heroku app. Once my Heroku app is connected with my GitHub account, I can either enable automatic deployment, which will deploy each time I uh, push to my GitHub repository or I can deploy my GitHub repository manually. Um, at this time, I will just set it as a manual deployment. Uh, once you have connected your repository to your GitHub account, you will want to go to your settings. Uh, you will want to uh, reveal configs and variables and you will want to add these three variables the alpaca api key id and the alpaca api secret key as well as the alpaca api base url it uses the live api by default You can also configure some of these other settings, but I have not found it necessary to do so at this time. You can ab obtain your AP Alpaca API key uh, ID, your Alpaca API secret uh, key, and your Alpaca um, API base URL by going to your Alpaca account on the right hand side under trade um, your API keys uh, you can click the view button and generate your keys when a new key is generated uh, your current key will be invalidated and any programs using the current key will stop working once you are done your configurations in Heroku should look something like this uh, with your API key, your secret, and your uh, URL. Uh, for us, we're, we're going to be using our uh, paper trading account, so we will be adding the paper API instead of the live API. Once you are done configuring your keys, and you want to deploy your branch. Uh, you can deploy your branch by going to deploy and clicking on the deploy branch button. And this will deploy my master branch for the repository I specified. This should give you a successful deployment. The worker will be running our python main.py. To enable our workers, we want to go back to resources. We want to go to worker python main.py. We want to hit this pencil button. Toggle and confirm. Uh, this will enable our worker. After enabling our worker, you may want to go to view logs. Let's open this in a new tab. Notice that nothing is running. You may want to reset all dynos.
this will start up your application and it will show you that your application is running correctly. Once you have connected your alpaca algorithm and have it working on Heroku, you want to go back to resources. You want to add the two add-ons. The first one being Paper Trail. Paper Trail will be used to uh, keep track of your logs. When you click Paper Trail, accept their terms of use. will have a copy of all your logs. Once paper trail is running, you want to look up process scheduler. You want to get the pet project one. Once you get into process scheduler, uh, it will ask for your Heroku API key, which you can obtain here. And it will ask you to set up a time zone. You want to have Eastern Standard, Eastern Time, US, Canada. Uh, this will reflect um, New York market hours. Your Heroku API key can be found here. If you scroll down to API key, you can reveal your API key and copy it over to uh, the process scheduler. Once you copy your API key to the process scheduler, you can click Save. In the process scheduler view, you want to click on the worker tab. The worker tab will show that one worker is working throughout the week. Uh, you only want this worker to work for part of the week. So if you highlight everything and click zero, you'll disable the worker from executing on do in those hours and days. Uh, you want the worker to execute Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through 4 p.m. and you want to have one worker executing. Having this configured will disable your application Sunday, Saturday, and partially throughout the, the week, allowing you to run more applications and more algorithms on the same account. Once you have your paper trail and your process scheduler configured, you may want to consider going into your account and setting up your billing. Uh, setting up a credit card to identify you will add uh, 450 more hours of Dino runtime to your account, allowing you to execute more applications on your account. Uh, without adding your credit card, you will only have 550 hours. Once you add a credit card to your account, it will add an additional 450 hours to your Heroku account. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.